there. <laughs> Platform versus product, take two. Hello, I am Daniel. And I'm Alan. And this is our final video of the day. We are talking about platform versus product when it comes to identity. And uh, we've done lots of videos today. We've done authentication. Federation. Authorization. Workflow. Many, many more. <laughs> <laughs> and so one of the things that we didn't talk about was the uh, foundation of how your identity platform should be designed so that you can be successful and, and recognizing that the world has changed. If you think about where identity came from, I don't know why I'm pointing. <laughs> identity <laughs> apparently like came from me. <laughs> <laughs> Is, it evolved in a component product architecture. It started with directories and then went to web access management and then federation and then identity management and then role management. And before you knew it, you had 22 different products with 22 different APIs, UIs, and different ways of doing things, which is what this world is showing. It's the legacy world where every new identity service is a completely new set of infrastructure that you need to deploy and manage and get basically uh, service integrators to integrate all this stuff to make it seem like a single identity platform. But again, that's kind of hard when you're working with different UIs, different APIs, different documentation, different ways of logging and auditing and so on. It gets pretty gnarly. And what that led to was identity um, deployments that took 18 months and beyond because it was so complex to deploy. The benefit of a platform is that you're working at an identity platform from R&D. You're building it together logically in a common way with a shared set of services so that it's not about integrating all this stuff together, but rather giving you one unified approach to identity, a unified architecture that allows you to be successful with your deployments. And so what Alan and I covered today in terms of talking about the world of identity was really hitting on a lot of these different areas. What is authentication? What is adaptive risk? What is authorization, et cetera? But again, when we build this stuff, we don't build these as individual products. We build a unified platform with a common set of services. So every one of these shares a single REST API that they can use to integrate into users' devices and things and make it developer friendly. They all share a common auditing service where you can log data on all of these different services in a common unified way and um, write um, audit handlers to send that data to different places. Um, there's a common um, UI framework that we use, again, to have commonalities in the platform. And all of this gets you economies of scale and prevents you from having to integrate all this stuff together. So kind of an intelligent way of building identity. Another aspect of these is that each one of these components is actually functionality that you need to solve an identity problem. The applications or the products are really just packaging. Mm -hmm. And we may well want to take various components and package them in multiple different ways. Mm -hmm. And so when you look at it as a platform, we're talking about a set of functionality that you need in order to solve identity problems. Regardless of which particular binary they are in or what web server you're deploying them on, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. right? What you really need is the underlying functionality. So basic gist here is, although we're a unified platform, it doesn't mean you have to buy everything in order to move forward with it. You can actually start with an authentication problem or adaptive risk. There are all kinds of entry points. All of these are modules, essentially, are 10 modules that you can buy and use that as an entry point. And when you want to move to the next service, it's not a whole bit around deploying lots of new infrastructure, but more of a licensing approach. Again building the platform through R&D in a unified way with common services to make it as easy as possible for people to get up and running and to deploy identity in a way that allows them to grow value. So with that, Alan and I thank you for your time today and we hope you enjoyed our little uh, videos and, and uh, have a good day. Thank you.